to lit the fire that can burn down the whole forest. He was trying to ask him to open the thing. And first repair, I carried wire pin. 88. 88 rapes happen in India every single day. And this number does not include marital rape. This number does not include rapes that happen with prostitutes. And this number does not include unregistered rapes. As a child, I always wondered that why do people rape? Now focus on the word people because in, 20, in 21st century, a man can rape a woman. At the very same time, a woman can also rape a man. A man can rape a man, a woman can rape a woman, a man can rape a transgender, a transgender can rape a man. And there are several combination combinations that can exist in the society. Now coming back to the story, I always used to wonder that why do people rape? In the morning, when I was in the washroom reading in the newspaper with a headline, a 19-year-old girl raped and murdered. I used to ponder upon about this headline, looking outside my window in the school and thinking upon the fact that 19-year-old, that's the same age as that of my sister. And this thought just used to break my heart. Now moving on, I started researching about this until I found a research paper that was made by a reporter and that report shared some very crucial insights that why do people rape, what is the trigger point? And that was that most of the rapists are in reality influenced by a really harsh pornographic star. Yes, that's a reality. That's the reality of the society that they are influenced by some really harsh pornographic star which is a very, which includes has a very wide percentage over the internet. But is that the, uh, is, is that the main problem? Is that the deepest cause? Because if it was, the solution is simple. Put the entire rape over to the government and set yourself free. The solution is to ban porn. But is this the reality? Because the government already did so. Whom we are to blame now? We are to blame ourselves. Now, what is the root problem? The question is still here. I'll demonstrate it with an activity. I'm writing something on this chair. I'm holding this and putting it in my fist. So, first of all, can you open this fist with all the other thing? Ask him to open, he will do that. Child who is not yet 
13 when the age comes, why not talk with them so that they do not type what is sex over the internet and end up on a pornographic site? Isn't this making sense? You know what? Our society, our Indian society, it's very disheartening but is extremely, extremely hypocritical. Yes, that's a reality. How many people listen to this poem by Vildas and went to India's? Can you show up your hands? Well, I guess that's a great poem, that's a great poem, but that is certainly incomplete. Let me just complete it. I live in two Indias. I live in an India where there are sculptures outside a tent with a holy place depicting sexual positions, thus depicting an openness about this topic, and in yet another India in which sexual diseases are known as Guptro. I live in an India where there are some people carrying guns in broad daylight, sorry, unlicensed guns in broad daylight, openly without any fear. And I live in yet another India in which carry, in which women carry sanitary pads inside a dark newspaper, wrapped inside a newspaper as if it's something, an unlicensed gun. Do you women carry it in this way? And lastly, I live in India which just celebrated its 75th Independence Day and in yet another India where my mother, my sister, my aunt, my niece, my girlfriend, my friend do not feel safe to, go, to come from work to home or to come from a party to home even in the broad daylight and in yet another India where they are all dependent on the man of the house. Thank you so much. Over to you.